Hey y'all, Poor Man's Passport Guide here, and I want to talk to you guys about testosterone. Testosterone is a hormone produced primarily in the testicles or the balls. Testosterone helps maintain men's bone density, fat distribution, muscle strength and mass, facial and body hair, red blood cell production, sex drive, and sperm production. What happens to testosterone levels with aging? Testosterone levels generally peak during adolescence and early adulthood. As you age, your testosterone levels gradually decline, typically about 1% a year after age 30 or 40. Does a naturally declining testosterone level cause the signs and symptoms of aging? Not necessarily. Men can have many signs and symptoms as they age. Some that might occur as a result of lower testosterone levels can include number one, changes in sexual function. And that might be reduced sexual desire, fewer spontaneous erections such as during sleep, and infertility. Number two, physical changes. Various physical changes are possible including increased body fat, reduced muscle bulk and strength, and decreased bone density, swollen or tender breasts, which is me, uh, gynecomastia, and body hair loss is possible. You might have less energy than you're used to. Number three, emotional changes. Low testosterone can contribute to a decrease in motivation or self-confidence. You might feel sad or depressed, or have trouble concentrating or remembering things. Blood test is used to diagnose a low testosterone level. Now treating normal aging with testosterone therapy is not advisable. If you don't have a medical condition that's contributing to your decline in testosterone levels, your doctor might suggest natural ways to boost testosterone, such as losing weight and increasing muscle mass through resistance exercise. When I became a bartender at age 55, I had to carry cases of booze, trays of heavy glasses, and all of that. And my energy was falling in waves. My doctor suggested testosterone because of my medical condition, and I gave it a try. After a month of use, I felt stronger, more present, muscle production increased, and sex drive came back. Woohoo! I felt great. So I stopped using it. And I went to the doctor because my general health felt like it was in decline again. I told my doctor I stopped using the replacement gel. After many comprehensive tests for everything, the doc couldn't find anything wrong with me. He insisted I try the tea again and I'd feel better in a few weeks. Well, lo and behold, I did, and I felt like myself again. My energy increased, and I was able to do the bartending job without feeling worn out and needing to rest for two or three days after each job. As with anything, it comes with risks. But I would recommend to any man in his late 40s, 50s, or 60s like me to check it out and know that it's helped me stay stronger in my travels. And it's no substitute for exercise, eating right, sleeping and staying in touch with your body but as a supplement it's working wonders for my energy and sense of well-being so every day i get up i take my old man pills blood pressure cholesterol and i use testosterone gel it's got me feeling good at age 62 and uh, like I said, it's not, a, it's not a substitute, but it is a supplement that works for me. I'm no doctor, I'm no medical professional, but I'm just saying it works for me. So there you have it. Poor Man's Passport Guide out.